The health concerns with vaping continue to be in the spotlight nationwide, and this has some schools now looking at what they can do to try and keep their students safe. One product on the market schools are turning to now, they're called vaping detectors. It works very similar to a smoke detector. Mid Michigan Now's Leah Kamenau has been looking into this, joining us now live from Grand Blanc High School, where they've actually implemented a vaping detector last year, but then they got rid of it, Leah? Yes, Stephanie, they, you know, when it comes to vaping and trying to stop students from doing it, Grand Blanc High School is willing to try anything. And so last year they turned to the vaping detector. Administrators were hoping that it would help make them more aware, more able to intervene. But after six months, they decided the tech wasn't for them. The vaping detector that the school was using was called FlySense and it's by Solder Technologies. It works similar to a smoke detector by measuring air quality and looking for specific fumes given off by vapes. Once detected, a text or email alert is sent out to any elected school official. And here at Grand Blank, Principal Michael Frey tells me they tried a detector out in a problem boys restroom for the trial run. And he says while the technology worked, the ability to respond remained a challenge. We looked at, again, the, the number of times we were able to intervene with a student um, as a result of an alert and kind of thought about what it was costing us and then what it would cost to expand. Um, and we've decided to allocate really our, our resources in a different direction and take more of an educational approach to students than kind of a gotcha approach. Fred tells me here at Grand Blake High School, they remain open to any and all options out there to try and help this issue, which he doesn't see getting any better. And while the detector wasn't the right fit here at Grand Blank, Solder Technology says they are in 22 other Michigan schools. Live in Grand Blank, Leah Kamenaw, Mid-Michigan Now.